and then P was going through different changes with No Limit. You know, um, he was having they were navigating some internal shit too, and then success hit him. It, it was a, it was a lot going on. Was yeah. was your uh, what, this okay? Master P trying to figure all this out. He mm-hmm. young too. Yes, he exactly. young too. That's the exactly. part that everybody don't get. I get exactly. so upset with people when they talk about Birdman or Master P. I, even I Suge, you throw Suge in there too. too. I yep. get upset about people when they talk yep. about these young guys who yep. was came into this monitor, this entrepreneurial uh, rap industry trying where, where people were no We was trying to figure it trying out. Trying to figure it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, no. yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. To say what it is You know I don't think my partner Cared for him And P didn't care for him But is this the partner That sound like him No That was okay. that was. I, 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 thought, I thought about that When you were talking that was, uh, that was another one That would okay. come in And out the group Okay But, keep, <laughs> yeah, but you, that's what I thought When I was like no, This nigga no. sound like him He probably ain't gonna like nah, him You know nah. But this is another guy yeah. So why do you think That your partner Cause it's been a long time Yeah now. For sure do you, still, you and the guy still yeah, talk Yeah for okay. sure yeah, Why did what, Do you ever confide in you And say hey man no, This is I why I really exactly Didn't like this guy No man. It, What it was it, it was See I had we I had the insight And the foresight To understand that we didn't have any leverage. We, you know, it wasn't like we had a big buzz. It wasn't like we could go to P and say, hey, man, you know, Jive or Sick With It and Rap A Lot said this. Can you match it? You know, like some, you know what I mean? We mm-hmm. couldn't, we didn't do that. I understood that. Him, on the other hand, you know, not that he was completely wrong. He wanted to do business. He wanted to do corporate business. He was like, hey, check this out. And the manager at the time was on the same shit. He was like, they came at P like, yeah, so what kind of advance you talking about? You know, what's this? The contract. You know, P hustling. He built it. P like, nigga, motherfucker, I'm giving y'all a chance. Y'all niggas ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which he right. Which though. he was right. But then also, your guys right. is right, too. It, it can be too right. This is my point. This, to show yes. that, you know, but you're trying to show that. Correct. But I knew that you're trying to do the right thing in the wrong situation. Right. I was thankful. I was more thankful for the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. And my exa- I remember us being in a hotel and we talked about it. And now we're 18. We don't have a reference point of no music business. We're yeah. just going on common sense. And I remember telling them, I said, bro, I said, let's just do it. I said, we don't, what do we have to lose at this point? You know what I mean? Because if we do it and it does well, then we're going to get what we worth at that point. But right now, we we gonna, we go back home. We ain't got shit else to exactly. do. Exactly. You know, so that was my position on it. You yeah, know. I, I like the fact that you at 18 was able to converse like this because at 18, nigga, we gonna rob P. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, in your mind, yeah, like yeah. 18, E? Yeah, nah, 18, P, e. P, we knew we couldn't do that well, with P. P was I, I, real at nigga. the end of the day, I know yeah. we can't do it, yeah. but I, it's hard, bro. Yeah. yeah, you say that, but yeah. but then you the same 15 year old that was t- stealing guns. That's so, true. <laughs> that's true. It's but, just, but you had grew and matured yeah, enough and then, to know P, that. P, and then I had, I had already kind of, you know, established a brotherhood with Pete. So like, that's the difference. Yeah. That's the difference. I right looked there. at him, yeah. like I said, when we met, it was like we all already knew each other. Yeah. But him and my partner meeting for the first time. They talking for the first time. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it was it was it was a little, you know, and then P was going through different changes with no limit. You know, um he was having they were navigating some internal shit too. And then success hit him. It, it was a it was, it was a lot, lot going what, on. Was yeah. was your uh what this okay Master P trying to figure all this out. He mm-hmm. young too. Yes, he exactly. young too. That's the exactly. part that everybody don't get. I get exactly. so upset with people when they talk about Birdman or Master P. I, even I get, Suge, listen, you throw Suge, Suge in there too. too. I yep. get upset about people when they talk yep. about these young guys who yep. was came into this monitor, this entrepreneurial uh, rap industry trying where, to where people out. Wasn't, no we was trying rap. to figure it trying out. Trying to figure it out. Yeah. Bro. So no I get rap. upset, bro. You don't even know. I'm the same way, bro. I don't bro. play about South anyway. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of throwed off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm biased, but. But that's one thing I get upset about. Yeah. I'm mean, like, man, no, nah, man, we ain't have much down here. And when they, for Peter even go from New Orleans up to California exactly. and then establish himself, yeah, that's a that's a whole lot right there yeah. at, at the age he was, yeah. And being a young father for him also helped. Absolutely. So you and him had a lot in common. Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, neither one of us smoked or drink. We was really workaholics. We was focused. Yeah. We both were dreamers. You know, yeah. we both were athletes. So yeah, we had a, a lot of commonalities that. You did know, P ever talk to you about when he was trying to go to the league? And all that, or when he did play in the league, yeah. y'all was friends during yeah, this time. Yeah, for sure. How did what? What was some things that was messing with him during that time? And I'll ask you that. Kind of stick out to you, or was good for him during that time? I mean, that was always his initial dream. You okay. know, P was an athlete and a basketball player before he was a rapper and a CEO. That was okay. his initial dream. That was him going back to his calling. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So for the rest of the world, it was like, oh, what this nigga trying to play ball? 
No, that's what he started out doing. Right. You know, he only the the music shit was a default. That was like fuck. I got I got hurt. I got to figure some other shit out. You know, so that was just him pursuing his dream, man. Like he loved, he loved basketball. And he still does. Cause he still I mean, play. Well, I see him play a little bit. But now he's trying to get into co he's trying to get a coach, coaching job. Coaching job. Oh. Yeah, with the Lakers at, at this point. You know, and I know he tried with the Pelicans as well. Why don't he just buy a team? But he's 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 entertained that as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Romeo Romeo didn't take to it like that. I thought at mm -hmm. one point that that's what, what he, he was, was gonna, gonna do, do too. He did. He, he I seen him in, try into in it. USC. Yeah, in USC. Yeah, yeah, I think that yeah, I think maybe his passion was was just more with movies and different movies, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I seen him grow up into a man, man. I, yeah. as my son did as right. well. Like I say, I'm watching these things, and mm -hmm. when you, when you see the, these are the things that you look at, and you like, man, you know, I can do it too. Right. I'm being real. When you a person that's of age, and you yep. know these guys running about the same age, you yep. like kind of look at it and be like, mm -hmm. yeah, hell, if they did it, hell, anybody can do it. Exactly. It gives you an opportunity to think that way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all for that for sure, because y'all mm -hmm. was hustling, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, we on boss talk one on one.